kind of person who genuinely believes that my business is nobody's business and nobody's business is my business. So I don't really go out of my way to read, you know, autobiographies or even general, general biographies or, you know, anything like that, like the, the tabloids and the talk shows. And I just, I'm not interested. I'm definitely not saying I've never Googled anybody because who hasn't Googled somebody, but for the most part, it's none of my business. It, somehow we've gotten to this point in our culture where introducing yourself as a gay, gay and homeless and carrying AIDS is normal. And if you don't get that reference, you need a Netflix subscription. I'm just saying. But it's why is that? Why is that normal? Why is that? Why is that the way people want to be known? Like, wh- what is it that is like? I just, I just, okay. I genuinely do not understand. Okay. People can feel certain ways, they can have certain types of preferences, but like I am also, there are all sorts of aspects of who I am as a person. I am not just one thing and the things that I like are not necessarily who I am as a person. I mean, they can say a lot about me, but that's not who I am. Like we're we're boiling people down to like, one sort of stereotypical character trait and it's like this is who you are why we're not a television show okay this is real life you know since when did we start casting ourselves as you know the sassy gay best friend and the uh, generic nerdy computer geek that's not who people are even the people who are those things aren't those things and, and it's just it's ridiculous and the biggest the biggest culprit, okay, and this whole entire identity politics nonsense that's going on is the LGBTQ plus push for society, okay? I have gay friends, I have trans friends, I have um, asexual friends. <laughs> it's just, it's, I don't, I don't care, you know? Well, you do you. That's totally fine. It's none of my business. And yet, so many people, I don't know, are making it my business. And, you know, okay, if you're going to keep pushing it at me and pushing it at me and pushing it at me, then yeah, I'm going to push back. Because I don't want your stuff in my space. You don't want my stuff in your space. Like, how, okay, for example, this whole thing that happened in Florida a while back where it was like the don't say gay bill which one clearly people didn't read it because that's not what it was about at all and two but why was it such a big deal you know to say that you can't talk about these things you know sex and gender ideology and like like those things don't to say that those dang things do not belong in the classroom and that teaching from that angle is not allowed. Because if some hyper-Christian organization were to come in and say, now everybody in every classroom in this state has to, you know, be taking religion courses with intent, okay? It's like you have to study the Bible. Like, You know, if that was the way that it was in public schools, parents who don't want their children to be deeply indoctrinated by Christian ideology would object. And, you know, I think rightfully so, because what is what does that have to do with education in the overall general sense? What does I mean, I'm not saying that there's not aspects where it could come in. There's absolutely no reason why a science teacher couldn't have an open debate on um, evolution versus intelligent design, but that's reasonable classroom discussion in, in, in an attempt to move the, the dialogue forward. But what would be the point in being in a history classroom talking about you know i i don't i don't know medieval china 
and trying to force a Christian perspective on the learning of medieval China, that doesn't make any more sense than it would to force a LGBT QRS TV point of view on the study of, I don't know, plant biology. The point that I'm trying to make is that we need to stop forcing our personal beliefs and ideologies on a general population, okay? If you want to have, you know, sex and gender ideology taught at, and at, as part of a curriculum, go start a private school that is that, you know, people can send their kids there and it will be just fine. You know, you can, you can just the same way that the Christian schools have their own little corner of the room where they they live you can have your own little corner of the room where you live and we can just get back to public school being the basics of reading writing and arithmetic etc 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 obviously there's a little bit more to it than just that but so much of our education has been stifled by politics and why are we politicking these kids futures can't they just learn What's wrong with that? I, I, I can't even say how many problems that I personally had as, in public education based off of the ideologies that were being taught or, or held at the very least by the people. And you can't stop people from thinking and believing and feeling the way that they do. You just can't, you know, and, and yes, that's going to leak into the way that they teach in gen in, in certain aspects. But if, we're getting down to the core. People are just trying to push themselves out there to be heard, to, to make noise. And you know, why? Just why? You know, you're able to be heard by your own people. That's great. It's why do you feel like you have to force other people to feel the way that you feel, or at the very least, you justify the way that you feel? I don't have to agree with you to agree that you have the right to feel and think the way that you do. Oh, yeah, I just don't. And I'm not going to because I don't think and feel the same way you do. I, I can't because I'm not you and you're not me. You know, I have, I have my own things. I have my own thoughts and ideologies that have been formed from the way that I was raised, from the people that I've been, that I have encountered throughout my life, through the circumstances that I have lived. And nobody will ever truly understand why I feel and think the things that I feel and think, because I can't explain it. I've lived it. But I'm not going to go around forcing the way that I feel and think on other people, because I feel that they need to conform to my way of life because clearly I have it all together. Sarcasm, just in case you didn't notice. <sighs> I just am so tired of all of the crazies coming at me from all angles, whatever it is that they think and feel. And the right is just as guilty as the left. I'm not saying that they're not. You know, we have, we have, garbage coming from every direction and people like me who just want to live my who just want to live our lives the the way that we want to live our lives without infringing on anybody else's life or having our lives infringed on we're we're being forced to pick a side okay and i can almost guarantee that whoever it is that's doing the pushing you're pushing us in the other direction so if you really want our support, if you really want us to say, you know, they can do whatever they want as long as they're not breaking the law, then stop being so pushy. We're, we've become so, quote, inclusive that we're, we've never been more divided as a country. Why, why do we have to focus so much on the things that make us different? Why do we have to focus so much on the things that, you know, push us away from other people? Those, those can be a part of who we are. There's nothing wrong with that. You do you. I'll do me. We'll all get along just fine. But why can't we 
come together on the things that we all care about. And, and maybe it's because we don't care about the same things anymore. And, you know, so much hate has been going around for for the country and and for God and for, you know, all of the things that used to create a common ground are no longer politically correct. You know, we're not allowed to like those things anymore. And if you do like those things and you're an oppressor, it's just so frustrating. And I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I just, I don't. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and do all those things that you do when you enjoy a video. If you'd like to learn more about us at Moms for America or the Millennial Rant, you can visit our website at millennialrant.com or see us on our Instagram page at millennial underscore rant. I look forward to seeing you next week and I hope that you have a wonderful day.